go ahead and Hello folks, this is uh, Michael and I'm shooting another do-it-yourself video on some uh, maintenance I'm doing on my 2005 Mercedes-Benz SLK 350 and today what we're going to do is completely bleed the brake system of its fluid and put all brand new fluid in the system. I'm also going to be putting new uh, rear pads on. So why am I holding up a box here that looks like it has a Hudson sprayer in it? Well, that's exactly what it does have in it but it's something that I've modified. This took me about 15 minutes to make and I think my total cost was less than $30. All materials were procured on eBay. So I bought a one gallon uh, Hudson sprayer and uh, I eliminated the, the part of it where you have the Traeger and the wand. Uh, left the original hose on. What I added to it were two items. I added this uh, pressure gauge. Now this goes from 0 to 30. Um, we're probably not going to use more than about 10 PSI. And then a little pressure relief valve. Now this is optional. You don't have to have this. You can crack the pressure by you know, unscrewing the pump. What is this for and what does it do and uh, how does it work? Well one other thing I forgot to tell you too is I bought a genuine Mercedes-Benz uh, brake, master brake um, cylinder reservoir cap. Um, the universal ones I saw for sale weren't much less money and I wasn't positive they, if they would fit. I think this cap cost me as much as a Hudson sprayer. I think this was around nine or ten bucks and I think the cap was actually maybe eleven. But uh, this will definitely fit on top of the uh, master brake uh, cylinder uh, reservoir. So what are we doing with this? Well, we're going to first initially remove all the existing brake fluid from the reservoir. A couple ways you can do it. I went ahead and bought a little uh, syringe and I'm going to just be sucking the fluid out of the reservoir. Another way is just get a straw, especially if you can find one of those fat milkshake straws. Stick it in, put your finger on, draw it out. You could probably empty it out in a few minutes, but whatever method you want to use, a syringe for a few bucks or, or that method, that'll work. So I'm going to draw out all the existing old fluid as much as I can. Then I'm going to add new Merce genuine Mercedes-Benz fluid to the reservoir. I'm going to fill it close to the top. Then I'm going to screw this cap onto the reservoir and then we're going to pump it up to about 10 psi. And what's that, what's that is doing is putting a 10 pound per square inch head pressure on the fluid sitting in the reservoir. Then all you need to do is go to the back of the car. I don't even know what size wrench it uses because I haven't even gotten that far yet. I'm going to guess it's an 8 or 10 millimeter wrench. You're going to crack open your little bleeder screws and have something to um, drain it in. You can maybe use some aquarium tubing and connect it on that bleeder screw and drain it into some kind of a basin or just use a large oil drain plan drain pan. You're going to want to crack um, one of your rear at a time. Your rear cylinders are the furthest away from the reservoir. So you're going to bleed, uh, let's say we'll do the left rear until we get good clean fluid. Maybe run back up front and make sure our fluid level hasn't dropped too low. Crack the rear until we get clean fluid. Then possibly top off our reservoir again because the one thing you don't want to do is get air in the system. So always make sure you've got enough fluid in the reservoir that you don't run it dry. Then you, of course you're going to move to the front and do the two fronts. It doesn't matter whether it's left or right. Uh, then you're going to um, bring your fluid level back up to where it needs to be. If you have too much fluid, draw a little out. In my case, I'm going to be putting new pads on. So um, I'm going to be compressing those calipers, which is going to push that brand new fluid back up into the reservoir and give me even a little more height. Uh, you want to make sure that when you do that um, there isn't too much fluid in the reservoir as it will spill over as you run that caliper in with maybe a gigantic C-clamp which is how I'm going to do it. So uh, this is going to completely purge all the old fluid uh, including um, the anti-skid module. You can put all brand new fluid in your car. I'm doing it before I compress my calipers and push that bad fluid which may have contaminants up into the reservoir. This may save you a $1,200 uh, cost in buying a new anti-skid module if you push a bunch of crud back up in there. So again, home built head pressure reservoir. Built this for I believe $28 to 
this is probably a couple bucks so maybe the whole thing around 30 bucks on eBay you are not putting fluid in this you're only using this to put an air charge onto your um, master cylinder another way I could have done this was simply bought this cap I did use um, an airline fitting that you know use your air tools your air tools connect to that um, you could use that type of a fitting and rig it to an air compressor which if my daughter turns around you'll see I, I own an air compressor and in hindsight I actually could have used that but there again you've got to be able to regulate that down to very low pressure I'd say no more than about 10 maybe 15 psi this cap is not designed to hold pressure so you don't want to blow the cap off you don't want to blow the line off so um, good luck on uh, changing out your uh, brake system fluid and um, possibly building one of these. It's about a 15 minute job. Bye for now from Avondale, Arizona.